Welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for listening and supporting local journalism in Central Maine. Now here's J.P. Divine. Strange faces in heaven. It's summer 2022. Time for reflection, time for games. I have one for you. It always came up at theater or Hollywood parties where everyone was soaked in Merlot and guests started waving their hands to get their choices on the board. Now that graduations are history, super spreader weddings are planned. I know you're all sitting around campfires out on damp decks, barbecuing, popping open a beer, and watching the moon come up over your own personal piece of a lake. Give it a try. It's called When You Get to Heaven. Who, among the endless trillions past, would you want to meet and question? Family, of course, but we're talking about eternity here. There's time for them. I can tell I've hit a button. You're already talking about this question over your eggs and toast. Let's say 100 years from now when you wake up and there you are and on those Baptist golden streets. Oh, mercy. Uh, yeah, you're going to want some of that. There they are from Adam and Eve to Billy Graham and Mother Angelica sitting at picnic tables eating Eve's special Apple pie. Oh, my, there's Abraham Lincoln who keeps asking everybody, uh, <clears throat> how'd that uh, play in at the big uh, newcomer's cocktail party? The welcoming committee is made up of people like Tammy Faye Baker and Moses, and, of course, Jesus. Oh, you're Jewish. Relax. So was he. What would you ask him? Don't start confessing. He's not into hearing you recite those years of sins you committed. He's already forgiven you. That's why you're here. Smile. There's always somebody like my cousin, Kate O'Meara, who always asks, who was the woman at the Last Supper? Really, Kate? I remember parties where silly questions about the Last Supper were asked, like, uh... What kind of wine was served? Or did you have a choice of fish or, or meat? I think it was a kosher menu. Freddie Blackman would ask, was there a kid's table? Oh, Freddie, come on. Well, at all my satyrs, there was always a kid's table. Charlie Clausen always dreamt of asking Judas a question. But he whispered it. Judas is up here, too. See how it works? You could always count on silly questions like that. If I were you, I would avoid them. Order more beer. My niece, Lisa, the family cop, always wanted to talk to Jack Kennedy. Come on, Jack. Marilyn, really? When you had Jackie right there? Sports fans, <laughs> They will want to sit down with Lou Gehrig, Babe Ruth, or Jim Thorpe, really older sports aficionados, would always want to talk to shoeless Joe Jackson, tainted by the 1990 World Series scandal. Joe, did you, Joe? Come on, Joe. Tell me you didn't know. It's June 5th as I write this. You're curious about this column. Any questions? Last night I had a dream about meeting my old friend Ray Bradbury, who died on June 5th, 2012. He'll be there as a guide, walking newcomers down those Larkspur lanes and out into the great gorgeous fields. Everyone will ask Ray about those curious fields, thousands of strange little flowers in the clouds. Those aren't flowers, he'd whisper. They're children 
who've just arrived. And they all have a question for you. Anyone here have a, an answer? How about you? Let's see some hands. Anyone? Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Devine. On the Edge with J.P. Devine audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for supporting local journalism in Central Maine.